How would you like a $50 cut in salary? Do I laugh now or wait it gets funny? Oh, I'm serious. I've just been talking to Norton. Too much stuff piling up on my desk. Too much pressure on my nerves. I spent half the night walking up and down to my bed. I've got to have an assistant and I thought of you. Me? Why pick on me? Well, because I've got a crazy idea. I might be good at the job. That's crazy, all right. I'm a salesman. Yeah. Peddler. Glad-hander. Backslapper. You're too good to be a salesman. Nobody's too good to be a salesman. Oh, we. All you guys do is just ring doorbells and dish out a smooth line of monkey talk. What's troubling you is that 50 buck cut, isn't it? Well, that'll trouble anybody. Now, look, Walter, the job I'm talking about takes brains and integrity. It takes more guts than there is in 50 salesmen. It's the hardest job in the business. Yeah, but it's still a desk job. I don't want to be nailed to a desk. Desk job? Is that all you can see in it? Just a hard chair to park your pants on from 9 to 5, huh? Just a pile of papers to shuffle around and five sharp pencils and a scratch pad to make figures on. Maybe a little doodling on the side. Well, that's not the way I look at it, Walter. To me, a claims man is a surgeon. That desk is an operating table. And those pencils are scalpels and bone chisels. And those papers are not just forms and statistics and claims for compensation. They're alive. They're packed with drama, with twisted hopes and crooked dreams. A claims man, Walter, is a, is a, is a doctor and a bloodhound and a... Who? Okay, hold on a minute. A claims man is a doctor and a bloodhound and a cop and a judge and a jury and a father confessor all in one. And you want to tell me you're not interested. You don't want to work with your brains. All you want to work is with your finger on the doorbell. For a few bucks more a week, there's a name on your phone. <laughs>